Hi friends, welcome to my channel, Testing Talks Latest. Please subscribe to my channel to get such videos on testing. I am helpful for you to get good knowledge and crack the interviews on automation and manual testing. I am going to explain my experience with Virtuosa Consulting and here I am providing interview questions for 8 plus years of experience. The first question I asked was, I get asked was, can you introduce about yourself? This is the common question for any interview. You can provide your overall experience and roles and responsibilities you have dealt with in the far previous experience. So, you can explain about your roles from automation side and manual side, whatever you have done. And next question I get asked was, can you explain about the framework you have used with API? I have planned one of the BDD framework with page object model implemented in my previous project. BDD framework we have implemented has following structure. We have created feature files. Feature files will call the step definitions. Step definitions will have the definitions of the step we have defined and step definition will call the script files. This is the structure we have used and the script files will be commonly dealt with both Android and iOS. This is the framework I have explained to the interviewer. Next question I have asked was how to handle scrolling without touch events. Scrolling can be handled with the touch events. Touch events have some advantages but the interviewer want to know whether I have knowledge on dealing with scrolling without touch events. So I have explained about scrollable method. So for Android and iOS this will be used in different formats. For Android it is driver dot find element by Android UI automator, new UI scrollable, new UI selector and scrollable to be true and scroll into view, new UI scroller, uh, new UI selector with text, whatever the text we are looking for the element. For iOS it is driver dot find element mobile by iOS and predicate string label equal to element text. So I am also providing scrolling with touch actions in this question. So with touch events we have to provide the dimensions, we have to get the size from that, you have to get the start x position, start y position and end y position and you have to pass the touch action with the values start x, start y and end y to move to, start x and y to move to. And this is similar to action in selenium. Next question I was asked with to find duplicate characters in a string testing automation. For this I have used a dictionary in C sharp because this question need to be solved in C sharp as per the interviewer. So I have created the dictionary with char and int and loop through the string and if string character is white space I am continuing for the execution means no more the re remaining script will be executed but it will be continued for the next character. So if char count contains key as expected so it will be increase the value. 
so if the car is already existed it will increase the value either it will assign car count as 1 means it is not duplicated so that's how our car count dictionary will be generated and later I look through the car count dictionary and display the pair up key and value since the interviewer asked only non duplicates we are displaying the non duplicate values next question I was asked was what is the difference between class and interface class is a blueprint of the objects class will support single inheritance and class can be instantiated class use the access manifest such as private public protected something like that but interface has some other properties it can be multiple inheritance and it has a certain behavior well, I have even explained about Java and C sharp implementations with interface and next question I was asked related to this previous question that is why multiple inheritance does not possible with C sharp C sharp does not support multiple inheritance due to the region it is having complexity and ambiguity with diamond problem for example class A has a method display and class B and C both inherited class A with override display then class D inherited B and C has ambiguity about how to use display so it cannot be find which display method to be used with multiple inheritance from a class so it cannot be possible multiple inheritance with a class but it will be possible with interfaces why next question i asked was why do we need to use virtual for the method in c sharp C sharp will use virtual method for enable polymorphism. So we can call same virtual method in subclass and we can override it. Either we can use or not that depends. One example I have given for the virtual method here. So when a class is having a method speak which is virtual it can be overread in the subclass so here I called animal class by implementing into dog class and used override I'm going to provide some tips to crack testing interview prepare well for the scripting since for the most of the automation interviews the scripting part is very complex nowadays even for manual testing interviews minimal automation knowledge is needed prepare for the key concepts practice is more important for scripting than just go through the concepts thank you friends subscribe my videos to get latest updates and Thanks for your